Hey guys, it's Sazumaki and today I'm going to show you how I made my Quidditch armor for my Quidditch cosplay. In a couple of weeks I will be at a special Harry Potter convention which is in Solingen, in Germany. And I'm very excited about this. That's why I made my Quidditch cosplay and in the next few minutes I want to show you how I made my Quidditch armor. The patterns that I'm using in this video are made by me and you can also download them for free. I will just put a link down below in the description. Now let's get started! The Quidditch armor is separated in three parts. The bracers, the shin armor and the knee pads. Let's get started with the bracers. First, I cut out the template, which you can also download for free on my website. Then I trace it to some fall ladder, cut it out, and trace it to another piece of fall ladder. Then I draw the sewing lines into the upper layer of the ladder. Herefore, you can use again the template to measure out the distances. I clipped the two layers together and saw them along the sewing lines. It was important here to make sure that the two layers are not slipping while I sew them together. As you can see here, I have only sewn the upper part. This here is important for the filling later. But first, I cut out a 5 cm stripe of another fall ladder, clip the right sides together and saw them together. Again, I have left out the lower part and this is why. Now I can start to fill the bracers with some cotton from down below. I am using a pen as a helping tool since the material is very slippery and it makes it much easier to fill. When all the upper parts are filled, I am sewing the lower layers together and fill them from the side. Now, when this part is done, and all the filling will take you a while, I sew the stripes to the end. Since the back part doesn't look very nice, I wanted to sew on another black fabric to hide this, but this part is very additional though. To get some nice edges, I use the clips to make everything in the right place and sew along the edges. This is how it looks so far. Now for the attachments, I needed to make some stripes out of the same ball ladder like the bracers. I cut out 5 cm stripes, clipped and sew them together. I attached them with rivets onto the bracers and added some buckles on one side of the bracers. And this is it! The next part is the shin armor. The steps for the shin armor are pretty much the same. Cut out a pattern. Cut out two layers of fall ladder, sew them together along the sewing lines, sew on the stripes but leave one ending open, fill it with cotton, close it, cut out another black fabric, add it to the shin armor and sew along the edges. Add the stripes and the buckles and that's it. The knee pads. Now for the knee pads there are some similar steps too. I cut out one layer of the fall ladder and trace it to some craft foam. I cut it out and glued it with contact glue to the ladder. The next step is to sew on the stripes on the edges. For the knee pads I don't need to leave a part open like the braces or the shin armor, since there is nothing here I need to fill. Again I cut out a black fabric to cover the back side and clip the edges in place and sew it. As a next step, I cut out the round shape from a template and trace it to some 10mm EVA foam. Cut it out and sand at the edges. I needed the edges to be round and smooth.
When this was done, I traced it to some fall leather and gave it some additional space. Now I glued the foam again with some contact glue to the leather. While the glue was drying outside, I sew on the stripes to the knee armor and added the rivets and the buckles. When the foam was ready, I took out my heat gun and heated it up from both sides. I shaped it a bit and waited until it was cooled down. Now the great thing about EVA foam is that it stays in place when it's cooled down. I have also made the shaping so it would fit my knee better. I took the knee armor and the other knee thing and glued them together and it was done. Thank you for watching, I hope this video was helpful or useful for you. Um, and if you still have any questions left, just let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe here somewhere, I don't know, it's the first time I'm doing this. There, yeah. Thanks, bye.